OneNote has these neat little tags, so if you wanted to uh, use it as a checklist, you can certainly use it as a checklist simply by creating a list and adding a, a, a to-do tag next to it. So I can say that I have this list of tasks inside of OneNote. However, if I wanted to incorporate that with my Outlook task list, then I could use the Outlook task flag. So I could give it a, a due date, for example. I could say that this one's due tomorrow. I could say this is due today, for example. So if I've added these in as Outlook tasks, now that I have added the Outlook tasks flag instead of just the OneNote to-do flag, when I minimize OneNote and I go into my Outlook tasks, look at this. Get approval for videos, record OneNote videos, survey users. These are the tasks that I have here inside of OneNote. And so they really are integrated to the point that if I go into my calendar now and I look at a single day, you can, you can expand this window here at the bottom and now you have your task list here and you can literally drag and drop time on your calendar to complete a task. So if I go to tomorrow, there were these two tasks that I had for tomorrow as well and I can just drag and drop the time so that my time shows as busy. So you're literally using OneNote, creating a task list, and then you can, you can use Outlook and this pane here at the bottom to drag and drop tasks onto your things to do. And when it's done, I can go on ahead and I can mark it as complete. It'll disappear from here. And now when I go back to OneNote, they're already checked. So you can put your tasks in multiple places, either in OneNote or in Outlook. But as long as you use these Outlook task features, then the, both of those lists will be synchronized.